Dr. Rajratna here. So we'll discuss the question that I posted today. So today's question was, which of the following is not a macular dystrophy, right? So we will quickly go through the dystrophies and also arrive at the answer. So option A, option A was ARMD, option B was Best disease, option C was Targaard's disease and option C, I mean option 4 or D was fundus flabby maculatus. So the question today was, which of the following is not a macular dystrophy? Although you might be a little confused looking at all the other options, but when you look at option A, which is ARMD, what is ARMD? Age-related macular degeneration. So that itself tells you it's a degeneration and not a dystrophy. Okay, so the answer is there. Simple, bingo. But now, okay, so your answer to today's question is option A. Now let's discuss quickly option B, C, D. So option B, C, D are all macular dystrophies. So how do we define dystrophy? Dystrophy, first of all, is something that is inherited. So it follows a Mendelian inheritance pattern, except for very rare ones, which you don't need to know at this point at all. Okay, so they are either autosomal dominant or autosomal recessive or X-linked inheritance. They follow a Mendelian inheritance pattern. They are inherited. ARMD is not inherited. Okay, it's an acquired condition due to maybe some genetic polymorphisms may be there. Uh, SMPs may be there, but it is not a genetic disease. So it is not a dystrophy, but it is a degeneration. Is that clear? Okay, so now coming to the first option that is best disease. So uh, in the options, you had three dystrophies mentioned. One is best. Then it was Targaard's and number three, it was fundus flavi maculatus. So I will start with the most common macular dystrophy, which is Targaard's disease. Okay, so Targaard's disease is the most common macular dystrophy. Then what is best? Best is second most common macular dystrophy. Is that clear? Okay, so now Targaard's, the problem is there is a gene called APCA4. Now APCA4 is encoding a protein, which is a transporter which is present in the outer segment of photoreceptors. And what does it do? Outer segment of photoreceptors means it is involved in the phototransduction, okay, in the movement of vitamin A. So now when this APCA4 gene is not, I mean, is undergone a mutation, the protein is a um, malfunctioning protein. It's not functioning properly, okay. So you get accumulation of lipofusin, okay. So you get accumulation of lipofusin. So APCA4 gene, mutation in Stargardt's disease and it is a most common macular dystrophy and you get an appearance called as beaten bronze appearance in Stargardt's disease okay what appearance you get in Stargardt's disease you get a beaten bronze appearance in Stargardt's disease is that clear so these are the things that you need to know and in Stargardt's disease this lipofusin gets accumulated like fish tail so that is why we call it as spicy form lesions all right and this last one, fundus flappy maculatus, is an early form or we call it as a part of the spectrum of Stargardt's disease itself. Is that clear? So Stargardt's disease ka one spectrum or one milder form is fundus flabby maculatus. So it also comes under dystrophy only. Okay. Now, what about best and Stargardt's disease is autosomal recessive in inheritance. Now, coming to best disease. Best disease, most of you know what it is. Best disease is the second most common macular dystrophy. You remember we have the egg yolk lesion. Yes, we have the egg yolk appearance on the macula. Then later it becomes an andaburji. That is, it becomes a scrambled egg appearance. Okay. Now, best disease is autosomal dominant in inheritance and there... The gene that is involved is VMD2 gene, also called as bestrophin gene, because the protein is bestrophin. So bestrophin gene, also called as BST1 gene, okay? So VMD2 gene, also called as bestrophin gene, also called, I mean, the protein is bestrophin, also called as best1 gene, okay? So what does it code for? It codes for a calcium-sensitive chloride channel, okay? So best is a bad disease. So what is best is bad? Best autosomal dominant. So what is star gut? Star AR autosomal recessive. Very easy to remember. And fundus flavi maculatus is a part of star guts. Is that clear? So in star guts, please remember we are not supposed to give vitamin A. So generally we say no for everything vitamin A, no. You should not give vitamin A because it will accelerate the progress because the vitamin A transport is affected, right? Now, already, now let's say I'm suffering from indigestion. I'm not able to transport or absorb or anything. And you load me with food. What will happen? I'll become toxic. So, yes, you understood. So, Stargardt's disease, APCA4 gene, which is present on the outer segment of photoreceptors and is involved, is a transporter involved in vitamin A transport and phototransduction. Is that clear? So that is why you should not give vitamin A to 
star cuts disease people all right so that is one topic a day out today so we're done okay see you bye bye guys